know. Yeah, I know. Uh, another thing, uh, I mean, I, I just kept on over it, uh, double checking it, it all makes sense. You know, so. Yeah, it's, it makes sense when a painter talks to you about it. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I was saying. On to our second graphic. We got this all masked off where it was the blue. Now we're going to spray this a candy teal. I was an SG100 guy for years. When the new Shimmerin 2 system came out, I started using Transnebulae for my candy carrier. I love it because it dries more like a base coat. Uh, it's not soft and gummy like SG100, and you're not limited to four coats. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this carrier base of Transnebulae, it's kind of a weird word. And I'm gonna put candy concentrate in that with no effect, and I'm gonna use that as a traditional candy. Now, SG100, UKK01, or the old system of UKs, they were completely transparent. So imagine this is a carrier base without any pigment in it. So you're adding your own pigment to it. With that being said, being a base coat carrier, it's cloudy. Just because it's cloudy doesn't mean it's gonna dry cloudy. When it dries, it dries crystal clear, and I'm gonna show you guys that right now. I get people all the time asking me, why is it cloudy? Is this a bad can? It's not. It's gonna dry crystal clear just like SG100 or UKK01 would. So let's go ahead and mix up. I'm gonna use a, uh, mix up a candy teal. So I'm gonna take organic green, mix that with oriental blue to make a teal. So now we have a part of transnebulae in our cup. It's important that you reduce it down and then add your candy concentrates to it. Once again, reduce it down, then add your candy concentrates to it. If you add your candy concentrates to it first without reducing it, you're gonna spray it and it's gonna be more transparent than what it is in the cup. So I always reduce it down. I do it two to one. SG100, they used to say you could stretch it to one to one. I feel that two to one in transnebulae controls the candy better. It's not gonna model as much, it's gonna control it. So I always do a two to one. Add in my reducer. So over the years of doing this, I've respected the product. I know I'm not gonna over concentrate it because it's gonna be one full coat and it's gonna be completely covered. And I'm not gonna under concentrate it where I'm gonna put one coat on and it's not gonna be anything. So doing that, you have to learn from experience. I always do a stick test when I'm doing it. So we use metal House of Colors uh, stir sticks. Once we get the candy concentrate on there, I'll stir it, pull it out, and I'll see directly on the metal, and I'll know if it's under concentrated or over concentrated. That's a nice way of doing it, rather than a wooden stick, is doing it on a nice metal stick. It mimics a metal metallic surface of whatever it is you're painting on. So now we're gonna add some concentrate, I'm gonna stir it up. I'm gonna go like that. I try not to add more than 20% of the candy concentrate. Okay, as you can tell, our Transnebulae candy concentrate mixture dried crystal clear. This is over a metal flake base. It's pretty awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same carrier base mixture of lapis blue that I made, mixed one to one and a half in my airbrush and I'm just go around and fade just the edge of this. The nice thing about using Transnebulae is it's it dries flat. What well, By flat meaning, if I pull this edge, the edge of that is gonna be a lot more minimal than let's say using a traditional candy or SG100. That's one thing I like about it. It's gonna bury better with clear. Three coats of clear, it's gonna be completely buried. So let's go ahead and fade the edge. Then we're gonna unmask this and do another layer. So 
as you can tell, this mixture of transnebulite candy concentrated that I've formulated, it's dried fast, it's dried smooth, it's not a huge buildup of material like if you were to take straight candy concentrate and put it into a, a clear or a SG100. And you could do this formula with any of our candy concentrates. You could do like I did and combine two or three of them together to make your own color. With that being said, it's my preferred method of doing candies work now. I'll do a complete job like this. Before I had to worry about mounting points on a motorcycle, fenders and stuff where you would wrench on them and they would mushroom and they would do that. This minimalizes that. Because it dries hard to touch like a base coat and not an inner coat clear and not a UKK, this way that's more stable. And I like doing all the work with transnebulite because it's transnebulite sticking to transnebulite. It's not using some other product and then putting it over another product as far as a UKK over a base coat. I like using it because it sticks to itself really nice. You can mix flakes with it. You can mix pearls with it. This is the backbone of the Shimmerin 2 system is transnebulite.